Hey guys, this is the M9 Provis 3 bayonet. This was sent to me by Mr. Leonidas. Thank you very much, sir. Now this is a fourth generation. This was produced around 1994, I believe. It has a matching Provis uh, sheath. It has a wire cutter. Now we use these to put an M9 uh, Beretta a magazine in, but you could obviously put anything in there. Uh, this does have the attached sharpening stone. Of course, the universal attachment point here, which would have gone on our utility belt that we saw with the Alice uh, issued stuff. It does come apart. So it's quickly detached from your belt. Now this one is the dark brown. Looks like a dark brown. Here's the bayonet itself. Of course the right side has no markings. This one does have the fuller. Of course it has a saw back and the hole to make it a wire cutter bayonet hole to go around the uh, flash suppressor and of course the bayonet attachment itself right here of course on the left side this one has the four line denoting it as the fourth generation M9 Pro with 3 USA patent pending I used one of these for many years uh, we were only issued these if we were going to the field or going to a confidence course or the bayonet course or even to the range because we did um, practice firing with these on a rifle. This uh, particular knife we really didn't use as a field knife. We were never allowed to use this other than as a bayonet or a wire cutter. Uh, that was just a unit uh, type of uh, directive. Other units may have allowed their soldiers to use it in other ways. Uh, being in a air defense unit and not an infantry unit, we would not have used our bayonets for anything other than as a bayonet. But it's very nice. Great condition for its age. Really nice. Brings back a lot of memories. Uh, probably a lot of you out there that are veterans <clears throat> of any service that have ground forces probably have used one of these. Uh, they are still in use as far as I know. This was used by Mr. Leonidas in one of his videos. I'll put a link to it in the description box. For me this is going to be just a historical piece that I'll keep in my collection and display right here. You'll see it in many of my videos. It's a great bayonet. This has been a great uh, knife for the US military and other militaries. Just a great great piece of hardware. I enjoyed using them. Stabby stabby end. Very nice. Very thick. Very thick. You can get these razor sharp, although we were never allowed to sharpen these ourselves. Of course, you probably wouldn't need to uh, during training anyway. You know, uh, we were never allowed to use them as anything other than a bayonet anyway. I suppose if I was 
in a war zone in a uh I don't know extended period of battle and it did get dull, then I would be able to sharpen it but uh for normal training purposes, we never sharpened these ourselves uh, these would have been given back to the armor or supply and sharpen from that end. So that's the uh, M9 bayonet itself. There's its markings. Don't know how well that'll come out on the video. Of course, let's look at the sheath just for a second. Pretty ingenious for its time in the mid 80s. It's got a combination of Velcro, nylon webbing, buckles, Sometimes these will be marked with its uh, company of origin back here. Obviously this one is not. Wire cutter, of course. Extra pouch. I see a lot of these without the pouches. Uh, this is a Cryptek thigh, <clears throat> thigh rig made by Mr. Leonidas himself. So thank you. That works really well. Of course, like I showed you earlier, it has the sharpening stone, which looks like it has not been used very often, which would uh, corroborate my story that we were never allowed to sharpen these in the field. Of course, it comes off like this, so you can pull the whole thing up. Pretty neat. It's in great condition. Um, as a matter of fact, the other manufacturers of this, the sheath will be quite uh, different. Uh, these bulges on top are usually not here. And it's got a, a portion of, of knurling around it. So that's cool. This one's even got the old numbers from when it was at a unit supply right here. Also... Underneath here, I don't know if you'll be able to see these. There is one that says 78 up top. And this one says 63. Of course, these have been scratched out when it was reissued or whatever. So that's pretty cool. So that's the uh, Probus 3 M9 bayonet sheath. And the bayonet itself. Very cool. It's in great condition for its age. Don't know exactly when this one was produced, but the Gen 4 was around 94, I believe. You can see it's been used a little bit as a wire cutter. I know Mr. Leonidas used it, and it worked for him, so that's cool. He uh, has a video of him using this in the field, so check that out. Thank you, Mr. Leonidas. This has been a conversation piece for me and some of my veteran buddies that have come over to my old house when I first got it. I've had it for a couple of months now. I'm just getting around to making this video. And we have reminisced about our old days in the Army. Just around this one piece. So that's pretty cool. Everybody has issued a bayonet. So that's pretty neat. And I wanted to give a special shout out to my new neighbor, Johnny Cruz. He served in the Army for four years. He is now a disabled veteran. Uh, he has the same problem I do with his back. So, uh, hi Johnny. Just wanted to mention you. It's so, alright guys. That's all I got for right now. More videos coming soon. Talk to you guys later.